people make mistakes when they're young and yeah. don't know what they're doing. Yeah. You remember that blue light? Yeah, the one that disappeared? No, the one that, that got turned on backstage yeah. by someone. Oh, what is that you? <laughs> <laughs> and you never admitted it. <laughs> you let me. My name is Delaney Brake. I am Dylan Earhart. I am Jody Christie. Hello, I am uh, Madison Higgins. I have been friends with Maddie Higgins since kindergarten, uh, literally, and we used to do cheer together, just hang out at school together, and um, when we were in junior high, she decided to join drama. Um, and so in 8th grade, I came and saw her in uh, a Hunchback, um, the Hunchback, <laughs> so I saw her in that play, and I just remember watching that play, like, thinking, like, how amazing it was, like, all the set was just, like, amazing, I remember, I specifically remember the bridge in, like, the middle aisle, and I remember and, watching... And the Hunchback? The, yeah. the actor who played the yeah. Hunchback? Oh, yeah, definitely <laughs> the actor who played the Hunchback. No, but for real, though, like, Tommy and Maddie, like, seeing them on stage together, like, knowing Maddie, but, and yet she became this totally different person on stage and like it just really inspired me get away Maddie you're gonna make me cry um, <laughs> it just really inspired me to just act in general and then obviously because I already knew her and I knew that I was gonna have a friend in there and wouldn't be going in alone um, so sophomore year I decided to kind of break the mold that was set out for me um, and join and it was the best decision I have ever made thus far in my life um, I'm really 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 grateful that I did I've always had a love for theater, and I just decided to go for it when I was in sixth grade when we got that down to elementary school. Then it transitioned into junior high, and I've been a part of crew and drama ever since. I went and saw uh, Anne of Green Gables. I was in sixth grade, fifth or sixth grade, and I uh, saw the football player on stage, and I was like, wait, it's cool to be in sports and be in drama? What? It was mostly my friends like poking and prodding at me saying, hey, this is fun, this is fun. And like, I was invited to uh, come watch rehearsal during Punchback, and I went to like every rehearsal and just watched, and I was like, I was like, wow, this is like really cool. And so I decided to join my sophomore year, and it was like, what, that was the worst voice crack in the century. Um, it was kind of like a mix of like seeing how well, um, Maddie Higgins did on stage and like and seeing Corwin like on stage acting and like and Tommy and Maddie and I just like I wanted to be a part of that so I was like hey why not? My sister and all of her friends because they were all in it and it just looked fascinating to me so I figured I might as well try it. I think I learned how to be myself in drama. I don't know if that makes sense but before I joined drama, I always put on this facade of like who I thought people wanted me to be. Um, and when I joined drama, I just got to be myself and I didn't have to put on a facade because people accepted me for who I was. And they encouraged me to be me and it's ironic because I was playing other people. <laughs> and yet when I was playing other people, I got to be myself. And that is by far one of the biggest takeaways um, from joining drama. I really learned that I'm really an individual and that I have different facets of like the art I can produce, whether it be like doing the makeup backstage or being theatrical on stage or doing what it's exact. How much time do you have? <laughs> In drama, let's um, be specific. <laughs> I think it's really important that I learned that I had leadership skills and I've learned how to refine those leadership skills from being a bossy to a leader because it's very different. Um, I've also learned that like 
what I put into the world is worth it. Like, I can have a positive outlook to those who are hurting in need or need somewhere to belong. And it's really good to know that you can be that person for someone. And I also think I learned that um, you have to be really patient with people. I learned that I can project louder than I initially figured. Um, because of it, I have lost my voice multiple times. Um, and I just found this like air of confidence and this ability to like fit any role that's thrown at me. And it's just like it's been so eye-opening that I had this like confidence that I never thought I had and probably never would have known that I had without drama, so it's, it's pretty awesome. Well it brought me out of my shell a lot and you can be who yourself or you can be yourself because everybody is different. And I didn't really know that before. I thought I was just weird and I was so insecure and this definitely brought me out of my shell a lot. I'm gonna miss everyone so much and I mean that from like the little seventh graders to like obviously our seniors. I'm gonna miss everyone so much. I'm just gonna miss the camaraderie of the whole troop. Um, Obviously, I'm gonna miss like Maddie. I mean, I know we'll, we're graduating together, but I'm going to Columbus and she'll be up here. Um, so I'm gonna miss seeing her all the time. Um, I'm gonna miss seeing Tyler and Ted again. You guys <clears throat> mean so much to me, and I'm just gonna miss like just being with you guys all the time. Um, Tori Fullerton, I love you. And I'm kind of doing shouts already, but that, that was gonna say that's rolling into <laughs> yeah. the next question, so um, you're good. Mr. Lawrence, I don't know if you realize like how big of an impact that you've had on my life, and you have. So I just want to say thank you for that, and I'll miss your guidance, um, and your nagging me in your book all the time, and I will actually miss it. Um, Emma Peak, I'll miss you. I can't wait to see like what you do for your next three years. Um, I know I'm missing Dylan and Jody and Sydney. I'll miss you guys. People. Oh, Jackson and the Shapers. I kind of lumped you guys together, um, but I miss you guys too. And um, you know, just your jokes backstage. I'm definitely just gonna miss like the family aspect of it and everyone being together for like all of dress rehearsal week and the performances and just like the thrill we get when everyone's laughing and like whenever everyone's just like feeling the play and doing our best. Anything else you'd like to add? Any goodbyes? Um, I'll remember you all in therapy. Um, <laughs> I'll, um, I'll miss the, uh, the little Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments that we used to have, um, next time. Um, I'll miss, I'll miss Secret Buddies and the Gentleman's Agreement and the Mean You Big Boy and I'll miss, I'll miss Maddie so much and I know she's gonna, and Maddie, if you're watching this, you're, I know you're gonna do great. Um, I would say I'm gonna miss Haley, but she's kinda stuck with me for the rest of her life. Um, I'll miss Tyler and Tori. They're two of the sweetest people I've ever met, and Delaney is one of like the funniest and most inspiring like young women I know. I'm not gonna cry. Um, yeah, I'm, I love you guys. Just like the the little moments, I think I'll miss the most. When you're like, it's like 8:30 at night, right after you just got done with like a horrible dress rehearsal, and you're sitting backstage and you're like, Lawrence, talk, here we come, and you're you just have this like fellowship around you that's not it's like gonna be able to support you and get you through it so that's what I'm gonna miss the most is the people and the laughs the crying the stress the yelling even the fighting I'm gonna miss it all I think we're just gonna miss the people and the atmosphere and of course being on stage but all right um so I I didn't get to join it until the second. Sydney, me! I didn't, <laughs> I didn't get to was the first to break. It wasn't me. Um, I didn't join drama until uh, parents just don't understand my sophomore year. But like, for some reason, I went to every rehearsal for my back. And like, um, and I saw like, I've seen every play since Pride and Prejudice. Um, and when when I enjoyed drama, I felt I felt like this would be a place where I could go and just be myself and just like laugh and have a good time without worrying about what people think about me. And um, I was right. Like 
I, at first I thought that about bands and like choir, but it turns out there's so much drama. Oh, and I, I'm ironic and like, you know, ironically enough, drama is the place where I personally had experienced the least drama. I didn't have to worry about anyone like making fun of me or like looking down on me for who I was. And I, feel, I felt like I could express myself and just kind of be free. And like, you know, these past few years with you guys have been totally awesome. You know, from uh, from awkward uh, awkward gentlemen's agreements to uh, trying my best to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, <laughs> to forgetting my lines, even at dress rehearsal. Um, you know, this these have been my best memories of high school, and you know what? And the wise words of Troy Bolton, once a while. Yeah. <laughs> Always a while. Yeah. I love, I love you, you guys. Can. I love you guys. Girl, <laughs> get your ugly cry on. <laughs> And I didn't realize that there was genuine people that had genuine respect for other people and like made good decisions that were in bond over. And I joined one group. Oh, you're right. <laughs> you're right. Um, and so, I don't know, it just is, I can't even talk right now. Stop talking! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Like, it's not me. Um, I don't know, I just want to thank you guys for being there for me throughout this journey. Like, I literally, I didn't know that I would feel so accepted and loved in my home group, which we are a family. Like, it doesn't even feel real, like this is our last one. Um, but, I mean, throughout, like, I don't know, I just think back to like Rhoda, like I said in my speech yesterday, like my, all, my callback was so bad. <laughs> like, uh, it was so bad. I and I just think like, I don't know, I just think about like Corwin and them, like working with them, not knowing literally anyone, and then leading up until like Christmas Carol, where I got to be present, Guys, I'm trying to keep it together to my speech. I literally don't know what I would do. It happens. Like, I look back, I miss my voice. I literally hated it. I hated it here. You know that? And I just felt like it couldn't be my school. If I didn't have you, I would not have been able to do that. <laughs> it sucked. I would have said, but, like, I don't know. I'm excited to see where we go. Obviously, for the rest of you guys, like, you should have been so fun. Like, Dylan, you're one of the funniest people I know. Like, I'm being honest. You're so funny. Like, we've had so much fun backstage. Jody, you freaking crack me up all the time. You're genuinely so funny, honestly. To me, it's been, like, really fun to get to know you a little bit during this, like, process. And it just, uh, I just feel so surreal. I'm just thankful that I got to spend with you guys. Uh, I don't know what else to say. I mean, you guys are cheering the rest of it out there. I'm trying not to ugly cry right now. So, I have something else to add. Go for it. So like, I've completely changed since freshman year. Like, I used to be what? this like, like as like a, as a person, like I used to be so like emo and just very oh, like funny. like I didn't was I was not accepting of myself and I didn't really like, find myself in like doing drama and I like was in an area that facilitated growth as a person like this. Like I found makeup and like how that was like, my biggest passion. And it ended up for me just doing like a little bit of like old age makeup to me, doing almost all of the main characters for Wizard of Oz and making this such a huge production. Everything worked so well and it like, worked out so well. And I've never been more proud of myself. Like that's like my defining moment in my high school career is just having my art displayed that way. And even though I didn't get a lot of thank yous for it, it's still, I knew you guys were so grateful when I was there. Oh, I was grateful. Absolutely. Because I feel like it was just a defining thing that I did. I think that since if I had been doing drama, I don't think I'd ever find like the theatrical makeup and the like, stuff that I do in my daily life as like appealing and would have appreciated everyone here as much because you guys are literally a second family. As much as I'm like very off, I stand off a lot. I'm like kind of quiet just because I'm not an emotional person. I really genuinely care That's about everyone nice. here. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm not gonna be the person to cry until the curtains close, but oh, wow. believe me, once we start crying, it's not gonna stop for a hop in it because. I'm gonna cry all through the party too. This was the best, like, time.
find these good things we'll figure out like 100%. Yeah, yeah, I would say too, like, like all, yeah, all of us feel that way, like, you know, once we join, it's like the best decision I've made. I came out of my shell. Like, yeah. I stopped being an edgy little, like, sad teenager. Like, I used to self-harm and, like, have, you know, a lot of, like, serious emotional problems. But, like, coming here, just, like, it's like a breath of fresh air. It's like I'm buckling my belly. Just, like, you know, let, let your pants oh, out after your whole meal. Unbuttoning the pants after the full meal. <laughs> and it's it just be ready to. It's just so good. Wait, I love you guys. This is saying a lot. I never stick with anything. Like I've been in cheerleading, didn't stick with that band, didn't stick with that choir. I wish I this is the thing that I love the most. And getting these cheerleaders is the best thing. I didn't have to cry in front of <laughs> Alright, cheers to us. Most importantly, cheers to moving on. And cheers to. Um, Becoming better people than we are now and leaving legacies.